So hello guys, I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to install Epic Chrome on any Xiaomi device. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Go to the description and check whether your phone is there. Your phone model is there, then click that link and download the particular ROM. And make sure you have a look in that page whether everything is supported. So I'm using Redmi Note 3 and this ROM does not have VOLT inbuilt. So you need to download this VOLT fix which is given. Then you need to download the ROM. And if you want, you can download the kernel. But I would recommend you to do it because it would improve your performance. So you need to download three files and you can either keep it in your SD card or internal storage. Once you download it and kept it in your internal or your SD card, now you need to go to the recovery mode. For this you need to tap and hold on your power up button and your volume button. Once you're done with it, it'll, your screen will go blank and it will be taking you into the recovery. In my case, TWRP recovery will come up. Once you're into TWRP recovery, the first thing is to take a backup. So if you don't like the current one, you can always switch back to the one which you're using. So you can just, you need to select on system, data and boot and take a backup and you can either keep it in your SD card or internal storage. So once you've taken a backup, go to the wipe, go to advanced, select Dalvik, system, data and cache. You need not to select internal storage and micro SD. Then just swipe and your wipe will be done. Install section once you into the install navigate to your room and select it and swipe to install Make sure you are downloaded the correct version for your device I'll be leaving all the devices which are supporting this room in the description. So check it out Once you're done with your room now you need to download the kernel So if you don't have the kernel you need not to worry the room will still work But if you download the kernel just follow these steps Make sure let all the setting be in default and you must know what type of fingerprint is yours either a FPC or a good fix. So mine is FPC so I am selecting that one and you just need to make sure that all the settings are in default. Once you are done with it just tap on ok then the aroma installer will be closed. So those people who are not installing you, you can directly flash the VOLT patch. So do not forget to flash this one because if you don't flash the VOLT patch, the VOLT won't work for this room. So make sure you're flashing it. Then tap on the reboot system. So the first boot is gonna take somewhere around to 15 to 20 minutes. So for me it took about 20 minutes. So you don't have to panic, just wait patiently. So as I seeing I have set up my device. So everything seems to work. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, VOLT, calling, all the sensors, camera and video works perfectly. But there is one flaw. The good fix fingerprint is not working. So if you're having a FCP type of fingerprint, then you can download it. But if you're having good fix, your fingerprint is not gonna work. And do not forget to flash the VOLT fix file if you don't do that you won't be getting VOLT patch so if you forgot you can just go back and flash it now also I would highly recommend you to download and install the Agni Pure MIUI N kernel because it gives a better performance when you install it you will be getting better RAM management and a good battery life support so this ROM is pretty stable and you can use it as your daily driver. Now talking about one of the important feature of this ROM that is the face unlock. To get access to this you need to go to your settings then scroll down until you find system and device. Select the first option which is lock screen and password. So there will be two sections that is manage fingerprint and add face data. Now you are going to select the second one and it will be giving you a small instruction how it works Then tap on next and there will be a small circle make sure you place your face within it and that's it your face will be registered now you just need to turn off your device and when you turn on it unlocks and it works perfectly and I can say that it's pretty secure than this google smart lock and for test purpose I checked it even in dark condition it worked perfectly 
and I wanted to see how secure it is so I tried to show this to my picture and it didn't unlock it's pretty secure but it's not as secure as the Apple's one but at the same time it's pretty good and the fingerprint also works without any flaw I can assure you that you can use this ROM as your daily driver but there will be few crashes here and there but it won't be seen often that's it for the video guys if you like the video go and smash the like button and then it's me signing off like share subscribe and don't forget peace out